Your cat is part of the family. If you decide you need to ship your cat, it's a scary prospect. However, you do have options available to you. Mainly, you can ship through the airlines or through private pet shipping services. Method 1. Shipping with an airline. 1. Pick a date. Most of the time, you can't book a cargo flight ahead of time. However, you can call and reserve a space on your preferred flight and airline. It's best to call and talk to someone so you have all the details worked out. Note that you will pay for your pet the day of shipping. 2. Ship during the week. In many cases, your cat will get better service during the week because more employees are on. Therefore, try to schedule it so your cat can leave on a weekday. 3. Learn the company's guidelines. Each airline has different requirements when it comes to pet shipping though many are the same for each company. Nonetheless, check with the airline to see what it requires or prohibits. For instance, American Airlines prohibits the shipment of snub-nosed breeds, such as Persian, exotic shorthairs, or Burmese cats. This restriction is for the safety of your pet, as pets with snub noses can be susceptible to oxygen deprivation and heat stroke. Another American Airlines guidelines is the crate and pet can't be over a hundred pounds. While that would be hard to do with a cat, you want to make sure your crate isn't too heavy. 4. Find a good kennel. Airlines also have certain requirements for the kennel. For the most part, the transport kennel usually must be rigid, escape proof, and meet other requirements, such as ventilation on at least three sides for domestic flights. However, each airline may have specific requirements. For instance, on American Airlines, the kennel can't be bigger than 36 inches, 91.4 centimeters, long, 26 inches wide, and 28 inches high. Nonetheless, your pet should be able to sit up, turn around, and lay down. You may also need to provide water and food dish that is securely attached to the inside of the kennel yet can be reached from the outside. Most also require you to provide bedding that can absorb any bathroom mistakes your cat does in the kennel. For instance, towels and shredded newspapers are suggested options. 5. Get a health certificate. Most airlines require that you have your pet's health certified within the last 10 days. If it happens to have a return flight, it must also have a health certificate within 10 days of that flight. Your vet will provide the health certificate once he or she checks the animal out. Make sure to ask your vet in advance to see if he or she provides this service. Often, you'll need two copies of the health certificate. 6. Decide whether to sedate your cat. Many cats do not travel well, and you may be wondering whether you should sedate your cat for flying. You can do so. However, most airlines discourage it. The main reason it is discouraged is that high altitude can change how the medication affects your cat. Talk with your vet about what's best for your cat. 7. Label the container appropriately. You need to write live animal on the top and at least one side. You also need to add this sign up with arrows on two sides. You also must provide other pertinent information, such as when the cat was last fed and when it should be fed again. In some cases, American Airlines, the airlines recommend that you feed the cat within 4 hours of the flight, while other airlines, Delta, recommend you feed the cat a light meal no less than 4 hours before the flight. When labeling the container, you need to note if the cat is sedated or not. You'll need to provide information on how the cat was sedated, including the weight of the cat, how much medication was given, when it was given the generic name of the medication, and how it was given to the cat. 8. Check the weather. Most airlines will only ship when the temperature is in a certain range for the protection of your animal. For instance, American Airlines mainly ships animals when the temperature is between 45 degrees Fahrenheit, 7.2 degrees Celsius, and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. This measure is also to protect your animal, as your animal will be outside while loading the plane. 
If your vet will certify that your animal is acclimated to it, some airlines will let you go below this range. 9. Drop your pet off. Your airline should have a list of drop-off locations for pets, and it can be different from passenger check-in. Ask your airline for the drop-off location, or check online. Ask about any extras the airline offers to keep your mind at ease. For instance, Delta offers GPS tracking devices for an extra fee, so you always know where your cat is. 10. Have someone ready for pickup. Your animal will need to be picked up on the other end. Like drop-off, where you pick your pet up varies by airline and and airport. Call or check online to find out where pickup is on the other end. Don't forget to notify the airlines who will be picking up your cat if it is not you. Often, pickup will be in the cargo area 